Welcome to Irfan CFPS. In this video, we will explain how beam smoke detectors work using light obscuration principle. And they are used in large open spaces and they can be used with conventional and addressable systems. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below. So let's get started. A beam smoke detector uses a light beam to detect smoke across larger distances as you can see here on screen and they are used in warehouses, malls, airports, auditoriums, atriums and manufacturing areas where the spot type smoke detectors may not work well due to smoke stratification. What does the meaning of smoke stratification? It is a condition where smoke rises and forms layers near the false ceiling making the detection system harder. That time we use beam smoke detectors. Beam smoke detectors work on light obscuration principle beam detectors are set up with a transmitter on one end and a receiver or reflector on the other end of the area these two needs to have a clear view of each other nothing should normally block the path between them so if something suddenly blocks the beam like a person walking in front of uh, it or equipment getting in the way the system does not go into alarm condition instead it sends trouble signal so why it happens because the real smoke from a fire builds up gradually and wouldn't completely block the beam all at once so a transmitter sends a continuous beam of infrared or visible light to a receiver or reflector when there is no smoke the beam travels freely but when smoke enters the beam path it scatters it scatters and absorbs light reducing how much light reflects the receiver if this drop or obscuration crosses a preset threshold the detector triggers and alarm condition so projected beam smoke detectors have permitted range of 10 meter to 100 meter this range varies from model to model manufacturer instructions has to be followed for installation and beam alignment as well these detectors are ideal for high ceiling areas where smoke may rise quickly recommended when ceiling height is more than 10 meters like in large open halls where multiple point detectors would be costly or ineffective easy maintenance since they can cover longer distances with fewer devices when installing projected beam smoke detectors standard spacing rules needs to be applied as per NFPA 72. The typical maximum spacing between two beams or projectors should be 18.3 meters. So this is the maximum distance we can maintain and from the wall to the projector nearby projector it should be half of S. So half S is nothing but 9.5 one meters so what about the distance between the projector and receiver it all depends upon the manufacturer model selected because each manufacturer has various models with various ranges so as i already told you they can range from 10 meter to 100 meter based on our project requirement we will select the kit the projector and the receiver 
If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with others in the fire protection community. For more videos, stay tuned to Irfan CFPS. Thank you. Bye.